Digital MB Mark Blythe representing Team Clocked. And now I'm pissed off. So do you remember that really, really cool game from the 90s and early 2000s involving skateboarding? Well, you know what? It's back. So a new Tony Hawk game hit the shelves and dropped out in the online stores everywhere you can think of, and it's called Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, which is weird because there's 10 fucking games. Now that's mathematics you can't argue with. So when the trailers finally dropped earlier on in the year, we saw how fucking awful the graphics were on that game, and it was only the purists that were defending it. Oh, Oh yeah, Tony Hawk's going to be so pure and so authentic that it's going to be an exclusive for the PlayStation 2. To everyone's shock and disbelief, this was a PS4 game. You know, that bit of hardware that also brought us Metal Gear Solid 5 and The Witcher? Yeah, that one. Okay, so maybe the trailer was shown alpha footage and eventually when the game comes out, it'll be all nice and polished. No. All they basically did was stick on a cell shaded mask and then pretend and then make up some sort of excuse like it was artistic direction. Maybe I'm being a little bit harsh here. We've also got to think about games aren't just about graphics. The predominant thing is gameplay. You don't believe me? Look at Minecraft. So why don't we have a look at some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 gameplay footage. So with bullshit collision detection and the worst ragdoll effects in Spider-Man 2, it looks like this game is going to be a fucking car crash. So you go out and buy the game or you download the game and then you realise it's really, really bad. At least you've only wasted £20. Oh, hold on. No, no, hold on. Yeah, the game is £40. Or if you're across the pond, it's $60. That is AAA rating for this game, which means that it costs the same as Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. What the hell possessed Activision to be so far up their own arses to think that anyone would spend that much money on a game like this? Well, Tony Hawk's in the game again, his name's plastered all over the box, so I suppose they had to pay a fee for his face. Lil Wayne's also playable in the game, so not only did they have to pay for his face, but also his tattoos had a fee as well. So for Activision to get a return on this game, they have to have a nasty trick up the sleeves, and they do. And you know what that is? It's the naivety of the general public. So a guy walks into a store that's around about my age, he wants to buy a brand new game, he sees Tony Hawk's name on the cover, on the shelf, he's going to make a quick purchase, just like what you would do if you saw straight a DVD film like Transmorphers or Independence Disaster. The worrying part of all of this though is that if the tactic actually works, in a couple of years time, at E3 2017, we're probably going to see another announcement of a brand new Tony Hawk game. Now I'll admit, I've never developed a video game before. The only games that I make are games involving role play with naked chicks. But to see Broken Games with a huge publisher backing it to see the light of day when you've got indie developers with huge ideas that can't get the funding, I'm sorry, but that's a crime against geeks. Think twice about buying this game. Maybe you should spend your money on something a little bit better. Maybe you should spend your money on a game that works or f f food or something like that. And if you're one of the people buying Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 at full retail price, you're not part of the solution, you're part of the damn problem. Skateboarding games belonged in the 90s and early 2000s, just like skateboarding itself. Right, okay, sorry that was a little bit harsh. I do apologise to all the skateboarders out there. This is the Digital MB, Martin Blythe representing Team Clocked. I'm going to head into the garden now to practice my ollies and kick flips. See you losers. See you.